So here's a fun solar fountain that anybody can make almost. Actually, I took one and I modified it. And take tips from the way I modified it because you may want to modify yours. Because surprisingly, what do you think happened when I first put it out? Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California. And notice this one. Look at this. It has no wires. See, these have wires, though those are my favorites and the sun is going down. So they all stopped except for that one's going. But this one's still going and all it needed was a bowl. The whole thing just sits flat in a bowl. But this is not the way it came. This came with just a piece. It was supposed to spray. Hummingbirds don't want to be sprayed. So I modified it and I did it differently. Now some come with this flap and some do not. The flap doesn't matter. But you know what? Let's see what happened after I modified it. And then you'll see which way do you like it. This way or the way it was supposed to be parts with it. Look how beautiful this is. Now this is a floating one. See? It comes with a plastic film, which I already took off, and that protects it. You must get that off or it will melt onto your solar panel and it will break it. So you want to get the plastic off. If it doesn't have a sticker, then the odds are it didn't have one. Some do and some don't, but this one had a sticker and said to remove it. Now it comes with all these parts. Aren't they cute? Different colors, different things to make different spraying. You know, like if you were gonna put it in a pond or put it in your pool or put it, put it in anything you've got. So anyways, I've got a different idea. I keep a box here with all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna see if I, what I've got. See the box? I keep all the parts when I make different ones. So let's see what I can do with this. Cause I don't know, I haven't done anything. I just looked at it and I started brainstorming. Let's see if I can get any of this on first. Now this is the tubing I use. So here I go. I tried a bunch of different things. I tried the different parts snapping on, I styrofoam, straws, everything. And I wanted to see what would work for me. And this is how I work. And I put it together this way and I thought, well, isn't that cute? Eh, it was a little unstable. The reason I wanted the straw on top of the tubing is the straw will straighten the tubing and the tubing was a little curled. And remember, I'm making a stand. So here's what I ended up doing. I ended up, I did fit that on. I stretched it on. So I've got this on, but I want to also put something else over it to hold it up. So here is what we're going to do. This fits on that tube. This is going to give a place for hummingbirds to sit. You'll see when we get it be a little dangerous. I'm going to watch what I'm doing and I'm not going to watch the camera. Well, what you saw is me brainstorming. This is how I work. So now you see how my brain works. I couldn't get that piece to snap on. So it was back to the drawing board. And then I thought, wait a minute. I use painter's tape all over the garden. It lasts for a couple of years. I literally have to go peel it off. So I decided to change up my whole concept on how I was going to do it. And I took some wire, just a little bit of wire, and I rolled the ends so they're not sharp. So what I'm doing here is with painter's tape, and yes, I have made solar fountains with painter's tape, and it lasts, it'll last for quite a while. I taped on a piece of wire and a zip tie. Why a zip tie? Well, I use zip ties in the garden. A lot of times I see hummingbirds sitting on the zip tie. So I figured, you know, let's try that. And then I can bend it to shape and I can see what they're going to use. Are they going to use the wire or the zip tie? You know, I put wire on my hummingbird feeders. Well, I put zip ties in the garden. Now we're going to try this. Really simple. And that's it. So now let's go put it on. And you know, it went on pretty good. Don't be surprised if you see me come back later and use a soldering iron and wire it on with holes and everything. But for now, I'm going to do it this way. And let's see what happens. So I put it out there. Now keep an eye on the shadow. You'll see it all happen real quick. When I see the shadow, you'll see the sun didn't move and you'll know that this is not the next day or whatever. The hummingbirds came over, they were feeding on the flowers and then they spotted it. It was amazing. He came and checked it out like, what the heck did she put out? I was worried it might be splashing too much, but you know, I even understand hummingbirds a little more after watching that hummingbird movie I posted the other day for all of you to watch. And you know what? Within seconds, he came back and he was having, or she, a blast hanging on the wire. So I didn't need the zip tie. 
just taking a bath. I mean, they've been using this and they love it. All you need is a bowl. You need this solar panel. It's one kit, so you don't have a panel. The panel is on top of the disc that's there. You don't need that flap. And they've just been having a blast with it. They keep coming back. They keep bathing on it. I think I'm going to make another one. I'm going to order one without that green flap, just a round one. And I'm going to make another. You don't need anything much but a straw and a tubing and then the part that came with it. They all seem to come with that part. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the wire on differently next time. I'm going to make some holes with my soldering iron. I'm going to twist the wire onto the cap. The ones that don't have the green flap will probably have a black cap. Doesn't matter. But I will need a tubing. You can get that in an aquarium store, hardware store. I'll put a link below where I get mine. And the straw is not that important because they're so light. So I may or may not put the straw back, but it works. They absolutely love it. Isn't that cute? The flap isn't important. Don't worry about the hummingbirds falling in. If you go back and watch that movie, The Hummingbird Effect, you can see that these hummingbirds, when they want, can dive bomb into water. They're not going to fall in. They're well balanced. They're going to just take a bath and leave. It will be fine. So you could take something like this without a panel and sit the bowl anywhere. It will need a good amount of sun because the tubing creates a little, little bit of shade. The hummingbird creates a little bit of shade. And so it's not as strong as the one with the long panel. But you know what? These things are cheap. You can get them for 10, 12 bucks. And it's different. I like something different. And it makes me think about things, how birds are gonna use different types of fountains and things you can move different places. I don't need a wire, I don't need anything. Just a bowl, a bowl of water. It's not the one with the panel that comes with the wire and all the parts, though the round ones do come with parts. But you won't have the wire, so you won't have to stake that up, make sure it's in the sun. But you will have to make sure that your bowl is in the sun. And you know how I love my cups and my bottles, and the hummingbirds love that. Though that is sitting in that same bowl, see the wire? The wire has to take the panel somewhere, and I've got to make sure the panel is either on a stake or sitting somewhere. It, the whole idea of what I'm doing is I bought it to try something. I was going to float it in our pond, and I started looking at it and thought, I wonder if I can set this up where a hummingbird will use it because the hummingbird wants to be up high. They don't want to go down deep in the water, though they can. They don't want to. Not ours. They want to be up on a peak, on a hilltop, up high. And so I thought, let's see if I can do it. And guess what? It works. So now I have a completely different fountain that I've never had before. And just think, if I had a bird bath, I could sit it in a bird bath. And now a hummingbird can take a bath. With that, have a wonderful day. Don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. Don't be surprised if you see me come back with it tweaked.